Hello, my name is Titeje Kepsi Richie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion on ordinary differential equation will be on Bernoulli differential equations. This is another interesting one. We are still on our series on first order ordinary differential equations. Last, we talked about how to solve linear first order ordinary differential equations. If you have not watched my video on that, please go to YouTube and search for the TJ Kepsi series and watch. In a sense that this will employ the idea of linear first order ordinary differential equations. This will be a very interesting series. Take a seat. So last, we learned that linear first order ordinary differential equations are in this form. That is the, uh, the derivative of y plus uh, p of x, y equal to r of x. We learned that. And remember I told you that the coefficient here must always be 1. Then, there is no element of y multiplying a function of x. If you remember very well, I explained that. So, this is the same as this. You are aware. Now, to solve the linear first order ordinary differential equations, we use integrating factor, if you remember very well. And we say that the integrating factor u of x is equal to e exponent the integral of p of x dx, if you remember very well. This is the integrating factor. And after we get the integrating factor, we multiply the integrating factor through the linear first order ordinary differential equation. Then our, what, our left hand side of the equation will be nothing but the product differentiation of the integrating factor and the dependent variable. We explain all these things. This, that video is on YouTube. Please search it and watch so that you will understand. Now, the Bernoulli comes inside. If there is an element of y multiplying a function of x. Check it. When there is an element of y multiplying a function of x. So we say Bernoulli differential equations take this form. They take this form. Where n is going never equal to zero, it can be any other value but not zero. Because when n is zero, y exponent zero is one. It will make will come back to r of x. We we'll come back to the linear first order again. So this or this, they are the same. Where n is never equal to zero. So this is how Bernoulli uh, ordinary differential equations. This is how they look like. Now, when we are confronted with a problem involving Bernoulli ordinary differential equations. How do we solve that? How do we solve that? So I will take you through how the process through which we solve it. Then we take sample questions and we solve so that you can you can be abreast with the concepts. So if you are confronted with a Bernoulli uh, ordinary differential equation, how do you solve that? First, you have to make the Bernoulli ordinary differential equations as linear first order ordinary differential equation. Very, very important. The first thing is that you have to make it linear first order ordinary differential equation. Now, to make it that, you have to let this not to be there. So what we do, we divide through by that. So let's divide through. So we have y prime over y exponent n plus p of x y over y exponent n equal to r of s y exponent n all over y exponent n what happened? you know this we divide that so we left with r of s perfect so we have y, uh, the differential of y i can rewrite this as y exponent negative and use the indices plus p of x remember this y is y exponent one so times y exponent negative n i rewrite that so this will be equal to r of x because this y is going to n will divide that. Now we can rewrite this using indices again. You know indices is saying that when two uh, indices are multiplied and the basis are the same, we just add the exponent. So we have y prime that's the differential of y. Y is going to negative n plus p of s y exponent negative uh, y exponent 1 minus n that's 1 plus negative n will be 1 minus n equal to r of x 
how, how you get that. The next thing is that since we, before we can make it linear, look at the partial, uh, the differential equation here, the differentiation of y. The coefficient is not one. The coefficient is being multiplied by another element of y. So it is not one. We have to make it one. How do we make it one? So we let you let okay v or any other variable be equal to the coefficient here. Look at this. The coefficient of the of the p here. That's y exponent y exponent one minus n. What do you do next? You will differentiate the v with respect to x. Remember that. Not with respect to y, with respect to x. So this will be implicit differentiation. So how do we do that? We have v prime equal to, remember differentiation rule. We draw the exponent, then we subtract 1 from it. So we have 1 minus n, y exponent, 1 minus n, then minus 1. If you remember it very well. Since it is implicit differentiation with respect to x rather, we attach the differential of y to it. So we have this. We have that. So what do we do? We will make y prime the subject. But before that, see 1 minus n minus 1. The 1 minus 1 will be 0. So we have y exponent. So let's write that. We have v prime equal to 1 minus n, then y exponent negative n, y prime, the differential of y. So what we do, we make this the subject. Our y prime, we divide both sides by this. So y prime will be equal to v prime all over, or out of 1 minus n, then y exponent negative n. So now, after we get this, we we'll substitute this in place of the differential of y. We we'll substitute this in place of that. Then, we we'll substitute this in place of v. In place of v. Immediately we do that. Immediately we do that. Our Bernoulli differential equations will become linear first order differential equations. It will become like that. So we take a sample question and we'll see how we solve that. Now, before we take a sample question and solve, let's substitute this our v equal to y exponent 1 minus n and the v prime into it and see what happens. Now, remember our differential equation. Is, is the reduced form. This is the reduced form. So we start to into this reduced form. We have y prime, y exponent negative n plus p of x, okay? y exponent 1 minus n equal to r of x. So that's it. Now remember our v is equal to, in place of y exponent 1 minus n, we put v. We put v. Then in place of y prime, y prime, we put the whole of this. So now let's substitute. We have y prime here, we put that, we get v prime over 1 minus n, y exponent negative n, remember, times y exponent negative n plus p of x. Now y exponent 1 minus n is v. So in place of that, we write v. So v equal to equal to our r of x. Now, what happened? Look at it. This will divide us. So let's divide it. So we get v prime over 1 minus 10 will be left. It's the only thing left there. Plus p of x v equal to r of x. Now we have managed to reduce it into a linear first order of nine differential equation with no element of y here. However, the coefficient here is not yet 1, so we have to make it 1. What, how do we make it 1? We divide through. So we can rewrite this as 1 over 1 minus n v prime plus p of x v equal to r of x. So we multiply through by our 1 minus n. Or multiply to, then the coefficient here will become 1. Then we we'll we are now in the linear first order of non differential equation. Then we use the integrating factor to solve. So come with me as I divide, I multiply 2 by that.
So to make that P, V prime is again, we multiply it by 1 minus N. So we get 1 minus N times 1 over 1 minus N V prime plus P of P of X V, okay, times 1 minus N equal to 1 minus N times R of X. Let's rewrite it. So this will divide that. We'll be left with V prime plus P of X P of X 1 minus N V if this multiply that. Then equal to 1 minus N R of X. Now our, our Bernoulli ordinary differential equation is being reduced to linear first order ordinary differential equation without any element of y or without any element of the v become the dependent variable here without any element of that there n is nothing but a constant remember that so the integrating factor will just be e the integral of the whole of this p of x 1 minus n dx so this will be our integrating factor u of x equal to that so when we reach the integrating factor, we find the integrating factor. Remember how we're doing linear first order. We'll multiply the integrating factor through our linear first order and differential equation. Then we take it from there. So we'll take a sample question and see how it is solved. So we'll solve our first question. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. So let's solve the first order of non differential equation this y prime minus y over s equal to y s over 9. You can see that this, since we have an element of y, we have y s over 9 here, this is non linear first order of non differential equation. So if you employ the idea of a linear first order of non differential equation, you, you will not end up getting the solution. So it's Bernoulli. Bernoulli. So what do we do? We can write this. As y prime minus 1 over x y equal to y exponent now. The first thing is that we divide into two to let this y not to be there. All, all in the process of making it linear first order. So let's divide two. Uh, y exponent 9. Let's divide by y exponent 9. And here by y exponent 9. So we can employ this is to realize this. You get y prime y is from negative now minus one over s y. Remember this is s point one times y is from negative now equal to if y is from negative y is from nine divided by y is from nine. The answer will be one. So what we have we can have y prime y is from negative now minus 1 over x y exponent 1 plus negative 9 so that will be minus 9 equal to 1 we have y prime y exponent negative 9 minus 1 over x y exponent negative 8 equal to 1 so we are able to do that the next thing is that you will let you will let a, a, another variable be equal to the coefficient here what is not the x, the y, the element of y, you let another variable be equal to that. So we let v to be equal to y exponent negative x. This one. Then we differentiate with respect to x. Remember that. So our v prime will be equal to, remember differentiation rule, we drop it and subtract 1 from the exponent, that will be negative 9. Then, because it's with respect to x and not y, we attach the y prime. Implicit, implicit. Now we make y prime the subject by dividing both sides by this. So our y prime will be equal to v prime all over negative 8 y is going to negative 9. Y is going to negative. What's the next thing? We substitute y prime and our v. We substitute the y prime and our v into our differential equation this one we substitute into this after we divide through by 9 
we substitute the y prime and the v to introduce so that we will get a linear first order non differential equation. Okay, so now we substitute our y prime and v into our reduced form of the of the uh, our first, our Bernoulli ordinary differential equations. We will substitute that into the reduced form. So in place of y prime, we put the so v prime over minus eight y is plus negative nine times y is plus negative nine. So in place of that, we put that. minus one over x. Y is the negative 8 is our V, so V equal to 1. So what we get, you see that this will divide that. So we'll be left with negative V prime over 8 minus 1 over X V equal to 1. So this is now in linear first order. However, the coefficient here is not yet 1, so we need to make it 1. So remember, when we multiply 2 by negative 8, it will become 1. So we get v prime, negative v prime over 8 times negative 8, we we'll multiply 2 by negative 8, minus 1 over s v times negative 8 equal to 1 times negative 8. I, I hope you get that. So this will go away, this will be positive v prime, it, this will be plus, remember that, so we we'll get plus 8 over s v. And this will be equal to minus 8. So this is now in a linear first order on my differential equation with the coefficient here being 1. So perfect. We can find the integrative factor u of x to be equal to e exponent p of x dx. And our p of x here, remember, is 8 over x here. It's 8 over x. So what we have our u of x we call to e integral of 8 over x dx. So we do we can rewrite this as e exponent a integral of 1 over x dx, which is e exponent 8. The integral of 1 over x is nothing but the next, which is the same as e exponent ln s exponent. It, using the law of logarithm. So now, I told you that any time the link meets the exponential function, the answer is nothing but what is in front of that link. So our integrating factor is equal to x exponent x. So what do we do? We we'll multiply the integrating factor now through this. So now let's do that. So we have v prime times x exponent x plus 8 over 8 over x v times s exponent 8 equal to negative 8 times s exponent 8. We multiply it all. What do we have? We have x, x exponent 8 v prime plus, this will take one of that, so we get 8 s exponent 7 v equal to negative 8 s exponent 8. So I told you that. Immediately we multiply to the left hand side will be nothing but the product differentiation of the integrating factor and the dependent variable here. Remember the dependent variable here is v. So we have s exponent 8 v, the, the product differentiation of that equal to negative 8 s exponent 8. It's true. So now what do we do? We integrate both sides. So we have the integral of s exponent 8 v, the product differentiation of that equal to the integral of negative 8 s exponent 8 dx. dx. So in linear first order ordinary differential equation, you say when we are integrating the differential of a function, the answer is nothing but a function. That's the differential I will do with the integral. So we have s exponent 8 v will be left there, equal to. So remember integration rule, what do we do? We we add 1 to the exponent and divide the function by the result. So we get minus 8 s exponent 8 plus 1 over 9, then plus our constant of integrity. 8 plus 1 is the 9. So we have s exponent 8 v equal to minus 8 over 9 s exponent 9 plus c. What do we do? 
we do the circuit by dividing it through by S exponent 8. So our V will be equal to minus 8 over 9, S exponent 9, all over S exponent 8 plus C over S exponent 8. So this will reduce, we will reduce this to 1. So our V is equal to minus 8 over 9 X plus C, I can rewrite this as C S exponent negative. I hope, I hope you get that. However, remember, there is no V in our initial ordinary differential equation. There is no V. So we need to substitute. However, we said, if you remember very well, we said V is equals to Y is to the negative E. So we substitute that. We substitute that. So we have Y is to the in place of V. Because V is equal to Y is to the negative E equal to negative 8 over 9 X plus C S exponent negative 8. What's the next thing? We, do, we multiply both sides by negative 1 8 for this Y to go up, for this Y to stand in there. So as I said, we multiply both sides by negative 1 over 8. So here yeah, by negative 1 over 8. So this will do what we do. We will leave it y there equal to negative 8 over 9x plus c s exponent negative 8 all exponent negative 1 8. Then this becomes our general solution for this first order of non differential equation. It is very interesting. It's very interesting. I'll solve one more question on this so that you'll be abreast with the concepts. So solve the second question. We we'll solve the first order of differential equation is we we'll solve that. So remember, it's Bernoulli because there is an element of y there. So it's Bernoulli. What do we do? We multiply through by we divide through by that so that the y square will go. So we have dy by dx over y exponent two plus two over two over x y over y exponent 2 equal to x squared sine x y squared all over y exponent 2. So, remember we can rewrite this as y exponent negative 2 dy over ds plus 2 over x y exponent 1 times y exponent negative 2 equal to this we do our way with that so we have x squared sine x so we can write this we have y to negative 2 dy by dx plus 2 over x so in indices we add 1 to the negative 2 so when we add 1 to negative 2 we have the negative 1 and to equal to x squared So we let V to be equal to that. Why is for negative? So now we differentiate the V with respect to X. So V So V prime, the differential of V will be equal to. So remember differentiation, we will drop that negative one. Then Y we subtract one from that. That will be negative two. So our, and remember it's with respect to X. So we attach our dy by the x to it. So our v prime will be equal to negative y exponent negative 2 dy over dx. Please, I'm using dy by dx because there is dy by dx in the initial question given to us. So what we do, we make dy by dx a subject. So our dy over dx will be equal to v prime over negative y exponent negative 2. So we substitute this in place of dy by dx and this in place of v but this in, uh, y prime in place of y prime we substitute v then our Bernoulli will become linear will become linear so that's the substitution is the next thing we we'll do so we substitute this and this into our equation then we don't have problem so in place of dy by dx we put that so we have y exponent negative 2 times negative v prime over y exponent negative 2 plus 2 over x 
Then in place of y is the negative one, we put our v. And to be equal to x squared sine x. So this will divide that. This will divide what we left immediately v prime plus 2 over xv equal to x squared sine x. Now the coefficient is not yet 1. It's negative 1. So we make it 1. We multiply 2 by negative 1. So our v prime minus 2 over xv will be equal to negative x squared sine x. So now, what will be our integrative factor? Our integrative factor u of x will just be e, the integral of the coefficient of the v here. That will be negative 2 over x dx. So when we solve that, we get negative, uh, e exponent negative 2 out, integral of 1 over x dx. So e exponent negative 2 integral. The integral of 1 over x is in x. We can rewrite this as e exponent in s exponent negative 2. And when the lean mean the exponential function, the answer is the function. So our integral factor, our integrating factor u of s is s exponent negative 2. Now we we'll multiply through our this, this differential equation, this one. We we'll multiply 2 by s exponent negative 2. We we'll multiply it. So we we'll multiply through by our integrating factor. So you have s exponent negative 2 times v prime minus 2 over x v times s exponent negative 2 equal to negative x squared sine s times s exponent negative 2 negative 2 sorry so what we have we can report it into the s exponent negative 2 v prime then this look at this so we have negative 2, we can rewrite this as negative 2 v, s exponent negative 1, this times our s exponent negative 2, equal to s exponent 2 times s exponent negative 2, this negative 2, sine x. I hope you get that. I did not change anything. You know, multiplication is complicated. So let's polish. We have s exponent negative 2 v prime. Okay? Then this will be negative 2 v s exponent negative 3 we add equal to now when we add our 2 to negative 2 we get 0 so we get negative s exponent 0 will be 1 so we get negative sine x now remember i told you that anytime you multiply the integrative factor through your linear first order ordinary differential equation the left hand side to be the further differentiation of the dependent variable and the integrating factor. So this will just be s exponent negative 2 v all prime equal to negative sine x. What do we do? We integrate both sides. We have the integral of s exponent negative 2 v prime is equal to the integral of negative sine x dx. So Remember, as when we integrate this, the differential will deal with the integral. So we'll be left with only the function. As I explained, negative 2v equal to, we can rewrite this as negative the integral of sine x dx. So we'll have as I explained, negative 2v will be equal to, now when we integrate sine x, what do we get? We get negative cos s plus our constant of integration. Uh, s exponent negative 2 v. When a negative multiplied, I will get cos x plus c. So, what we do, we divide both sides by s exponent negative 2 get to get our v. So, our v will be equal to cos x over s exponent negative 2 plus c over s exponent negative 2. We can rewrite as v is equal to, when we send it to the top, we become positive. So, s exponent 2 cos x plus c s exponent 2. Now, remember, we don't have v in our initial question. Uh, v is equal to y exponent negative 1. It's equal to that. So we replace it. So y exponent negative 1 will be equal to x squared cos x plus c s exponent negative, uh, exponent 2. 
Now, we need y. We need y. Not y is the negative one. So we multiply the exponent. We exponent both sides by negative one so that it can go out. So here to by negative one. So our y will be equal to x squared cos x plus c s exponent 2 all exponent negative 1. Remember we can rewrite this by dropping it down. We can drop it down so that this will become positive. So, so in our share, we have our y equal to x squared cos x plus c x squared all x to the negative 1. So we can rewrite it as y equal to 1 all over x squared cos x plus c s squared. I hope you get that. Then this becomes our general solution. Our general solution for this first order ordinary differential equation. I hope you get that. Please play over the video and I know you will get a concept. Please let your comment come. So your comment keeps me going. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again on ordinary differential equations.